852 on our Tuesday morning. Today is International Day of Women and Girls in Science. One local organization is helping break gender barriers within the field. Joining me live to talk more about this important conversation, our Idea Lab Kids Central Houston owner, Suniti Barua and Curriculum Coordinator Lily Hersey. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate your time. Talk to us about the importance here, right? To encourage women girls to go into STEM? It's really crucial because women have long been underrepresented in STEM field. We need to empower our girls from a very young age to learn science, technology, engineering, math, in order for them to be exposed to the field and build confidence and see themselves as a future scientist, future innovators. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about our program is not, it's not just STEM. We add a component on A, which is makes it steam, and art helps balance this, your left brain and right brain. And it activates creativity, it activates beauty, it activates problem solving. So yes, girls are supposed to be exposed yeah. to STEAM from a very young age. Working out the mind, and I know for many of these girls, these young ladies, they have role models, right? Mm -hmm. Having those role models also very crucial in their success mm -hmm. to ensure a, a bright future in STEM. With that, talk to us about what we're going to be doing here today. Yeah, of course. We've got lots of stuff. We've got science. We've got technology. We're going to start off with a classic volcano, but we're going to do it in a bottle. Ooh, and okay. And I love this because you get to see one of the main byproducts of a volcano, which is carbon dioxide, oh, a gas. Oh, look at that. And so if you've ever wondered why you're putting baking soda into cake, you know, right. It's because it to releases, make it, rise. it releases gas, which causes those bubbles, and oh, that wow. causes it to rise. Interesting. Yeah. So if you'd like to do the honors, just go ahead. We're and just going to shake this, or just, just tip this balloon over into the bottle. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you. I got you. I fought. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> How cool, right? So we added baking soda. Yep, baking soda and vinegar, just like a volcano, but you get to see the amazing production neat. of carbon dioxide. That is dioxide. really cool. Uh, okay, now th this is just one of the experiments yeah. we have here, right? What else do we have? We have some more science. We have some science with art. These are chromatography flowers. Yeah, talk so to us about this. The a, coffee filter. Yeah, just a coffee filter and some washable markers. Um, you just fold it in half twice and then open up a little pocket. Uh, we can do this on air. Yeah, uh, let's do it. <laughs> We'll just pour so we're going to fill up this little cup with water. This is just water. Just water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I know the test tube makes it look like something. Right. Something. Cool. Yeah, yeah. But it's just water. You'll take this. You'll stick it in shallowly into the water. So just the white part, not the marker. Not the color. Mm-hmm. Okay. And chromatography is the process of separating the components of a mixture. So these markers are made up of multiple types of pigments to get that color. And by doing this, you'll start to see yeah, the capillary. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, the, through capillary action, the water is going up through the coffee filter and it's separating the different pigments. You want to show them the final product yeah. that comes up? So as you can see, especially in this blue one, you see you have like purple hues, you have lighter oh, blue that. hues, darker blue hues. All of those pigments go in to I'm make fascinated up. To, uh, I'm fascinated <laughs> watching this uh, take place. I don't know if... <laughs> They're probably going to say, Zach, you know we can't show this because <laughs> the cup. Uh, but this is really neat. This is really cool. And what's also neat about this is that these are things that we have around the house, exactly. right? Very simple to put together for your mm -hmm. kids. And the cool part is it actually adds an art component. Mm -hmm. There is beauty to it. And there's real life application. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love it. It's used in labs mm -hmm. to separate contaminants. That's how we use chromatography yeah, so in real food, life. Food, cosmetics, lots of things. Yeah, so inspiring our children, right, our, our young ladies, and even boys too, to, to go into things like this. Because again, this is at the heart of STEM. This is at the core of mm -hmm. what scientists do and artists. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then last, we have a little sign for our International Aww. Girls and Women in STEM Day. If we flip it's this cool over. It lights up. <laughs> yes. If we flip this over, you can see our little circuits. It's just some copper tape, some coin batteries, and some tape. If you want to help me, we'll just flip these over okay. onto the battery. Oh, easy enough, right? Oh, look at that, and it lights up. Oh, ladies, this has been so much fun. 
Thank you yeah. so much for coming in. Really quick, where can people go for more information? Oh, um, we have branches in Houston everywhere. You can look up idealabkids.com. Our specific location is in Bel Air, which is in central Houston. Kids can come in for hands-on experiments, uh, after-school programs, summer camps, and their favorite birthday parties. Uh, I love it all. Suniti and Lily, thank yes. you both for coming in. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank and, you for having us. And thank you so much for watching the news.